Hey everyone. So uh, yeah, it snowed pretty bad. It's been a couple days. Um, getting back into working on some stuff on the 300. So today we got a short shifter. Um, the bushings on my old shifter were really worn out. So I had a lot of play in my old shifter. So I decided if I was gonna replace the bushings, I might as well get a short shifter. Um, this short shifter is a off brand. I bought off of Amazon. For like $40. Um, there's definitely some nicer ones. I believe Z1 makes one and Megan Racing makes one. Um, I'm all about the cheap, so that's what I went with. Um, I think it's about half the cost of the Megan Racing and probably like a third to a quarter of the cost of the Z1 uh, version. So um, it's not too bad. Um, definitely get what you paid for. I mean, the machining is not the best. Um, when I first got it, so first of all, there's some rust on the threads here um, because obviously they didn't put any oil or anything on the threads after they machined them to keep it from rusting. Um, this piece was actually stuck on here. Um, it came outside of here like this. This piece was stuck on here. It was stuck on here because there were some burrs around the bottom that didn't get uh, filed off or machined off. So it was stuck on there like that. And uh, I mean, once I freed it, I just kind of sanded this down a little bit and obviously it fits on there fine now. Um, also, if you look up inside the bottom of this, and you're not going to be able to see it with the camera, but there's some pretty terrible machining scores um, in the ring underneath here. It doesn't affect the movement of the shifter itself, so I'm not really too worried about it. Um, like I said, for 40 bucks, you get what you paid for. So um, we'll see how long it lasts, um, and uh, we'll see how well it works when we put it in. So I took my center console is already out. Um, basically you just, uh, you remove your radio. There's two screws under here, mine were missing. Um, there's a clip back here. You kind of pull this whole piece off. Um, take your mirror switch out, which I can't seem to find mine. I used to have it, but now it's not in here. Um, and then you take uh, your two rubber boots off. And then this plate is on here like this. You take the four bolts out of each corner and then you take the one bolt out right here, which holds this assembly on, and this plate will come off. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to reach underneath here and attaching your control arm to your shift knob, which here's the old one. Um, there's a bolt that runs through the bottom of this. Uh, let's see if I can get this set up here. Runs through the bottom of this shifter like this. So... And then there's a nut on the other side. So you want to stick, uh, what I did was, I stuck my, holding this up like this, I stuck my wrench in this side and then my socket on this side because there's a lot more room on that side for some reason. And got that bolt out. And then you just kind of turn, it's, it sits in there one way, you just kind of turn it and wiggle it out of there. Um, and then the other thing you want to do is, there's one nut on the bottom of this one and then there's one on the top here. And this whole piece will come out. And as you can see, there's supposed to be a bushing in here and it's totally gone. So mine was obviously slopping around, you know, with that bolt that I just had in there. So this obviously had a lot of slop in it like this and that's where all my movement was coming from. So, um, yeah, so that one's gone. The problem that I'm running into right now is this bolt right here is the other bolt that held that assembly on the top. This bolt is not long enough to hold the new assembly because as you can see, this cap is paper thin here. This one is a eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch thick. So um, the kit did come with some new hardware to bolt this one, but the problem is this bolt is welded to the bottom of this plate down here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pin this up. We're going to cut it. I'm gonna try to cut this off with the Sawzall level here and then we're going to uh, drill through this so we can get our new bolt in here. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of.
what's up guys so the uh, short shifter is installed everything's working properly um, got a new shift knob too I'm not sure if I like it yet it actually made the shift knob higher so the throw is kind of back to normal but I'll tell you what with the stock shifter knob on here the throw is so short I mean we're like two inches maybe three at the most um, it made first to second feel really weird because there was they were so close together um, on the other hand though a second to third is like the easiest shift now ever you know it, it's in the gear before I can even push the pedal all the way down and release it so um, you know it's got good and bad but it seems to work out good everything's like you know functioning properly um, so yeah overall I'm happy uh, so when I did the install the bolt that goes through the shaft and connects to the forks I would suggest you get a wax nut for that um, what I did was I had to spread the forks a little bit so I spread the forks and then I used a regular nut to compress the forks again back around the bushing and then I uh, used the uh, wax nut to hold everything together that way I could you know set it and then back it off a little bit and uh, you know have a have a nice tight bolt that I didn't have to worry about falling out so I would suggest you get wax bolts for your lower shift one uh, my kit came with wax bolts for the top so I just used one of those and then I just used the, the bolt with the washer um, with the lock washer so um, yeah everything's functioning great awesome uh, awesome mod cheap $40 everything seems to work out good I think I paid like $10 for the shift knob so if that doesn't work out I'm not really too worried about it but um hey stay tuned for future videos um, once I get a week of decent weather, I'm going to go ahead and try to fix my leaking T-tops and um, a couple other little things. Um, blower blower motor for the heating and air conditioning, uh, I actually repaired a while ago, but I haven't put the video up yet. Um, so I might do that as just a short little video. And then uh, we got a pretty big project in the works for the spring in addition to the 240 and the 300. So if you like my channel, uh, you know, give the video a like, um, hit that subscribe button, and uh, stay tuned for more Nissan and uh, maybe some American Muscle shenanigans. See y'all later. Peace.